welcome back to our channel it's Beverly over here and in this video I'm gonna share with you how I will make this plain looking and ordinary looking flip-flops or sandal or chinelas you can buy this at uh, whichever store you want and they usually come plain so we're gonna turn this into a pretty decorative uh, hair which you can definitely do it yourself and even uh, design your own and choose your own color. So, and in this video, I'm gonna also make the uh, flip flops with a pair of uh, hair bow or uh, so that it will come in pair or matching. That's the word, matching. Okay, so. Uh, the materials is of course are of course your flip flops, your scissors, the ribbon that you're gonna use, and you can uh, get your ribbon from uh, or, uh, prop store or online. I have a, a bunch over here. I get it in online. Uh, yeah, plenty of choices, but you choose whatever you have, and I have here the needle and the, the thread I have a glue and I'm using uh, E6000 and I have a lighter and I will show you how the lighter comes into here and another ribbon what's for uh, the ribbon is to wrap up the, uh, the strap um, so that we can anchor our uh, go like this like that so first I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to prepare this uh, flip flops so I'm gonna just cut enough amount I'm gonna seal this one by the lighter so that it will not unravel so what I'm gonna do you can use glue in here or in this case I will use my thread and my needle but you can definitely use a glue so I'm just gonna wrap like this like that so I'm just gonna estimate my my ribbon and I will cut cut into half and I will seal it with just to secure the and seal the ends okay so I'm gonna wrap up like this and I'm just gonna continue like that just to have something to grab on later for my uh for my bow or my decorative so this one I'm just you can use uh, glue in here but in this case I want I want it sewn I just use a little bit of stitches here doesn't matter if it's messy anyway it's gonna be covered by your bow so I'm just gonna secure this and like this. So now we're gonna set this one aside first. We so now here we will I will share with you how I'm gonna do the the ribbon. This one. So the length of your uh, ribbon to make one of this gonna depend on uh, how many petals you want you want it so compact then you need a longer one but this one for specifically this one I use 60 inches or 152 uh, centimeter long of the ribbon and the width of the ribbon is 
three centimeter. I will call it four. Four centimeter the width. So the width of the ribbon is four centimeter or 1.5 inches. So this is going to be the measurement. The length and the width. Okay. But if you have a wider ribbon, that's fine. It's just going to be your your circle is going to be your flower is going to be bigger. So I think your 4 cm ribbon is perfect for this, okay? So now we're going to do how we're going to do this. So we're going to do like this. You're going to have your ribbon like this facing down. If you have only one sided ribbon, if you have two sided ribbon meaning the design is the same on both sides, then it's no difference but this one i have only a one-sided ribbon uh, the design is only on the one side so i'm gonna be facing down we fold it into a triangle like this we do this one another triangle so your ribbon gonna look like this triangle I will do another one fold it triangle pinch it to the other side so you have a triangle now you will not bring them together so you end up like this so you have open one you have to bring them together close you hold it stop you fold it again in the triangle so you're gonna keep doing the triangle close them fold them now you do right this one this one you do that triangle again you do the other side You do this one, you fold, you fix a little bit, you keep pinching it. Now your ribbon is gonna be facing like that. You do this, fold, pinch, bring them together like this, like this, pinch, bring them together. You will be guided by the facing of your ribbon. This. Then you have like this. Pinch. Bring them together. So now when you have a bunch already, it's like look like this. And now I would like to secure them. Because sometimes uh, it's tiring for the hands to keep them so I'm gonna secure them so I would like to as I go along I would like to secure the petals that I have so I would like start uh, securing them with my uh, thread and needle each one just go through each one of them so that they will not unravel And then I will, as this one is secure, I will just leave that one hanging. I will continue. This, fold, pinch. This. So if you notice and if you are following it and you got confused, uh, please don't hesitate to rewind or go back to few back a few seconds more until you get on how it's folded so 
we start like this it's always triangle like this and you fold and you like this and every three petals or two whichever you are comfortable with you want to secure it so that you will not lose your and you will not so I'm gonna secure this this is it and you do this you fold you lift with this you fold again there you go you pinch them pinch them like that fold it like this so you will be guided by that the triangle that you are making you will really know you are not folding it in the right way or in the right direction for example supposed to be it's like this the right way so that when you fold you have a petal if you are wrong you will know because like that you cannot form a petal when you fold them so you will really notice that you are rowing so you will just like adjust it so fold it this way that way and then you mess up you do like this it's not gonna happen so you will fold it in the other way then you're back on track so it's done it's all folded now we're gonna bring it to circle so how we gonna do this it's gonna be like this So the first one, the, the beginning, the beginning of your thread, you meet with the end and you just like join them. And then just like this. Then you just secure, make few uh, secure, like this. So I will show you. This is the beginning and this is the end. And you're just gonna join them together like this. And I'm gonna secure the two. We're just making few few secure knots. So we finish securing the top we can definitely make this one right now but I want it uh, bring this one closer because this one is not uh, secure the two the end and the, the end and the beginning so I'm gonna secure it by doing few runs of the thread so I'm just gonna secure this bring them closer so I'm just gonna do each petal like this and I will do around the petals each of the petals so when you your uh, ribbon is thicker it's gonna hard to push so I will use my so that you will not hurt yourself this is like a craft Fire and I will just grab my needle so that I will not hurt myself or I can do it one by one also but this ribbon is like thick and uh, it has glitters in there so it's kind of hard to um, pass through but I will just take my time and do it one by one. The ribbon flower. 
so now what how we form this is we pinch or oh no we press onto the center like this and then you pick it up and you kind of pull it close I mean tight so you kind of pinch them on the center or press them on the center now how you gonna secure it is by again you're gonna use your needle So like this, you pinch it and you pass through. You be careful with your hands because I'm just pressing. So now I'm just gonna pull out the needle. If you have a thinner kind of ribbon, it's gonna be easy. So you just like hold it. It will, uh, it will be secure and hold with a few rounds of the needle as long as you keep uh, pressing them so here's your here's your flower right here and what we're gonna do in this center here to cover the like the mess or the thread and the, the end we can if you have like this like a brooch or a, a rhinestone you can find this one online or it, just any of the craft uh, store like that or if you don't have it and if you have a pretty button or any kind of button you just like put the button right there just to cover like that or you know to cover so in this one, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one, like that. So how I will secure, I'm still gonna use my thread and my needle. But if you are not, uh, if you're comfortable with uh, just the glue, you can glue it also. It's, it's gonna sit right there with the glue also. But in this case, I wanna, I wanna do the thread and the needle. So now we're gonna, what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna attach them like this. And for the hair, you can use a, a hair clip. We're gonna attach it like this. Or if you have a barrette, like that. Or a hairband, like this. But I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna attach this three so first we start with the slippers or the, the flip-flops I'm gonna just use this one but definitely you can use glue e6000 is a pretty good uh, hold so I'm just gonna like that and I'm gonna sew it I like uh, sewing or securing it by Sewing. I'm just gonna attach the end just like this. and then I can follow it up with the A6000 I'm just gonna like this and then I'm just gonna secure it both sides so it will not be dangling
secure the thread and then attach one of those paper. Just make it tight to few secure knots. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other plus the other. That's the one. So you know it's it's pretty secure, but I just wanna show you if you wanna use a glue, you apply a glue to your fabric the, the ribbon that we put previously just put a generous amount and secure them the same with this one this side you can put there like this and then pinch them so that they will not be dangling same with the other one I'm gonna just show you like over here you want to put generous amount of your glue right there and just pinch them and then let it just let it sit there and let it dry so first here you go your hair then we're gonna do the matching her tip or her bow or her flower for your hair that one. so we're gonna use I like my hair is kind of not really thick but I want like something like this like alligator so that it will be steady or a barrette but in this one, I will just use a alligator clip. So how we're going to do this is we have your... We're just going to cut like so. Just a little piece of ribbon. Seal the end. Don't forget to seal the end so that you will not have a mess. So here you go. How see how pretty it is from plain and ordinary looking uh, flip flop or chanelas to this beautiful and pretty shiny shimmering. Thank you for watching this video and please do make a comment on how I can improve my video and what else do you want me to make. Uh, and thank you for watching.
if you don't you are not a subscribe subscriber yet please do subscribe and don't forget to comment below and hit that notification bell for uh, update for our next video i hope to see you in the next video and you take good care